Welcome to the Hero Spotlight for Marja, the Ash Weaver. A unique and tough survivalist, this mage has no need for mana. What doesn't kill her makes her stronger. Marja's passive is Shadow Weave. After Marja takes damage, she restores her HP and reduces enemy movement with each normal attack and ability hit. The lower her HP, the faster Marja can restore it back. When she's running low, she can use her abilities and normal attacks to kill monsters and regenerate health. Doing this allows her to stay in the fight longer instead of returning to base. Marja's first ability is Dark Pulse. Marja unleashes a shockwave, dealing magic damage to enemies hit and reducing their movement speed. Marja can use Dark Pulse to poke from afar, and since it doesn't consume mana, it's very useful for continuous harassment, especially in the early game. Marja's second ability is Soul Devourer. Marja summons a Soul Devourer to attack the enemy, dealing magic damage. Soul Devourer works great with Shadow Leech's heal. If Marja also has Frosty's Revenge, she can use it to slow multiple targets. Always keep in mind that Marja's abilities consume no mana, so she doesn't need items like the Aegis that provide it for her. Marja's ultimate is Ghost Wall. Marja turns into a phantom, increasing her movement speed and becoming immune to damage for two seconds. Upon entering and exiting Ghost Wall, Marja deals magic damage to nearby enemies. This is one of the most powerful survival abilities in Athenor. Once Ghost Walk is activated, Marja becomes immune to all damage and control effects. This makes Marja a killing machine, even under the enemy's tower or in the middle of their base. If you want to become the Marja master you were meant to be, here are five tips to help you along the way. First, max out Dark Pulse before Soul Devourer. Dark Pulse has a larger attack range, which will help optimize Marja's damage output. Second, choose Flicker as Marja's talent. Using Flicker with Ghost Walk will get her out of all kinds of deadly situations with assassins. Third, while Ghost Walk is activated, Marja can still use her other two abilities. Fourth, Rhea's Blessing is one of Marja's core items as it can both enhance Marja's damage as well as enhance the lifesteal provided by Shadow Leech. Finally, remember that Shadow Leech grants Marja an enhanced normal attack that slows, so be sure to get in some normal attacks between your abilities for maximum control. Thanks for watching today's Hero Spotlight on Marja. We'll see you on the battlefield.